Brandon Barry had such a great start to the season. Like he's been back all the time, batting down passes. But you said he's seeing more and more double teams and the guys up there. Really, I mean, did you notice a point where it's really started to kind of free up for you guys as linebackers and you guys have really being able to make more plays here late in the season? Or? Yeah, you notice it. I mean, his first six games were lights yeah. out, and then you, you tell the production kind of went down. But uh, you can just tell they're they're playing offenses. Oh, yeah, yeah for game him. playing around him, which in turn freed it up, freed it up for the linebackers and the DBs. So, uh, I mean, Brandon Barrett still had a pretty good game last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think three tackle for losses. So he's back on track. And um, that's a good part of this D line. They're uh, they're really athletic and they they stick to their fundamentals too. So um, it really helps us out as a team. What do you credit to uh, your personally you know, your good season at this point too? Um, just the hard work and dedication that not just me but the whole team has put in this whole off season because um, just in the summer you really don't think that all oh, this hard work is going to pay off week week 11 in the season you just you go out there do what Coach Rad has to do and um, he has a plan and obviously you just you got to put your, all your trust in him and you know that it'll pay off in the long run. Did you kind of ration up your off season knowing this was you know last time around? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you definitely want to try out your hardest in the last off season. You want this season to be more special than any other season you've been a part of. But um, you want to play the title. Yeah. Anytime it's the last go around, you want you give it your all, and uh, you can definitely tell the seniors this past off season. I mean, I think it, they've been doing things around here that we haven't seen in a while. Just all. The film in the off season, seven on seven on seven, and stuff like that. California kid, you learned to embrace the civil war uh, in your time here. Uh, what's your uh, original thoughts when you came here, and now when you're getting ready to leave? Um, well, I didn't know too much when I first got up here, but uh, every civil war I've been a part of, you can definitely tell the the heat, the the rivalry of it, and uh, just the whole hatred each team has for each other, and um, you can definitely see it around the community. And uh, on the, in the media and stuff like that, a whole bunch of flags will start popping up. It's just bragging rights for the whole year. Yeah, and you look at the last two years, I mean, some of the, you know, the most riding on the outcome of the game, this one certainly is even more so than before, at least from your guys' is in the back. Are these civil war games still special? How's that kind of ratcheted up for you guys in this biggest rivalry, in the biggest game so far? Um, well, we got to treat like any other game. I mean, that's what we have to do first. Uh, same week of preparation, like always. But um, obviously, there's stuff at risk for both teams, bowl eligible for them, and uh, obviously, what's at stake for us. But um, I mean, we're treating it like any normal game. That's how we treat every game we've been in, and uh, we can't we can't look past this to any other game besides this one. We can't let this one slip away. You almost said the words "yeah, right." Championship. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Is the first team that's that about game what, what different it means than other? Do you focus on seem, you know, like chip what, what early, the game early, early, or just wild, the fact that you just need to be the team? Uh, well, I guess a little bit of both. Uh, obviously, the goal is to win every game we play, and that's um, what the he that's what Coach Kelly. I mean, that's his mindset, and he's instilled in us is that every game we're a part of, we expect to win that game and um, treat it like a boxing match that we have 12 rounds and uh, we've won 11 of them. We're going for the knockout punch right now. Obviously, there's a reward at the end of it, but um, beating the Beavers, I think that's def I mean, back in the day when um, when the, the Oregon team, the record wasn't so great, they what would make their season just them beating the Beavers. So uh, obviously, there's a lot of a lot at stake as in uh, bragging rights too. And you're you're a SoCal guy. Four years here, though. Now you've become part of this 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 rivalry. You're, you're almost an Oregonian at this point. But <laughs> how, what is how has your perspective changed in your time here? Uh, just the hatred. Just. Knowing the, all the trash talking they do, I mean, obviously it goes back and forth just with the students, and uh, you can definitely tell around the community as well. Um, the coach has done a good job of, they said we have to learn to hate them, and I think they do a good job of getting us on that, in that mindset.